know they watching, I'ma make them sweat. Put your money down, place your bet. Degenerate, yeah, I'm a sicko. Who else gonna get you to the window? I know they watching, I'ma make them sweat. Put your money down, place your bet. Degenerate, yeah, I'm a sicko. Who else gonna get you to the window? Today we're doing something a little bit different. We are going live. Graybo's Giblets podcast is back live on stream. While we break, got a lot of topics to cover, especially the Scottish Open this week, the warm up to the Open Championship. We're big, we're a big golf pod. Um, but we do all sports. We're going to talk about the Euros. We're going to talk about tennis. We got the All Star game coming up with Home Run Derby next mm-hmm. week. So baseball is heating up. So we're going to talk about a lot of things. What other things are we doing here on stream, Denny? All right, guys. In addition to recording this podcast, we're going to be doing some giveys. We're starting with this uh, Blaster Skybox Metal Universe, a little Tiger Woods. Because Tiger's on it. Um, because it's a golf focused podcast, we're going to give away some golf cards. Um, People like Hale Orwin, Sergio, Maverick McNeely. Sergio Rookie. Sam Bennett, Hank Haney, Arnold Palmer. Um, we are going to be selling break spots like we always do. In this box, though, it's not just golfers. Correct. It's like young, high-end prospects and stars. It we is. picked it because Tiger, you can hit some Tigers. Yeah. I think so, I'm excited. In that set, actually. I think I might be, too. Oh, well, Matt's, uh, sorry, Matt said, what's the biggest hit y'all pulled from Tier 1? I will say the biggest hit that we pulled on stream was a Bobby Witt auto at a 10. Yeah. Who do you think it was? Zig's giving us a face out there. Who do you think it was, Zig? Well, that wasn't on stream. Off stream. Oh, he's just talking because he's an Oriole fan. Off stream, one of our guys pulled the Bobby Witt, Gunnar Henderson, Anthony Volpe, Triple auto. To what? <laughs> to, to what? It's a redemption, we think, that's out of five. So it's going to be big time. Yeah. yeah. And Matt, you have a ton of cards to pick up in shop. So when you want to come by uh, and hang out. Jackets are fire. Thank, Thank you, you, Salt Box. Appreciate it. Oh, sure, Jesus. Rookie. I want to show you all what it does. If you like this, that's cool. Like it, like it this way. That's cool as well. That's pretty sweet. All right, I'm not going to lie. That's pretty cool. Yeah, thank you, Salt Box. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Matt, I'll be there tomorrow to help team. Oh, Matt! Trivia at Parlay tomorrow night. He's on the team. Not only are we a card shop, we have a sports bar right in the same building. Whatever your vices are, we got them covered, boys and girls. Yep. Colt, we're doing it, baby. The double uh, suit. Slab God, what's up? Welcome to the show. Welcome Slab to- God bought our first one. Trivia starts tomorrow at yep. Parlay, 7 p.m., 7 to 9, tomorrow night. And then Thursday, we're going to run trivia on stream 2 to 5 like we normally do, me and Fitzy uh, Finkeldale. What's up, Matt? Fitzy Finkeldale. Real quick, I know this is not good pod stuff, but my wife's asking me what I want for dinner, so. Yeah, go ahead and deal with that. <laughs> 804, nice. Hey, 804, come say hi. You'll see me. I'll be sitting over there with Sims and Matt Gay. That's 804. Far- farmer, get, yeah, get your, t- get your team together, baby. Yeah. 804, I don't think we've met face-to-face yet, right? Oh, he's the man. Farmer's what, the what's man. What's your first name in real life? I, I assume you don't go by 804 nice. Farmer at home. Zig just pulled that. Sandy Koufax, gold out of 50. Nice pull for a monster. Jay, all right, Jay, cool. Come say hi tomorrow night. Jay Crowder. I'll be the Jay guy, Crowder. I'll be the guy drinking Miller Lite and getting all the trivia questions right. <laughs> um, can't miss me. Can't, Get a, can't miss uh, me. So, Duke, what's cool about Jay, Native for Farmer, is he has a farm out in Ashland, Hanover area, and he does, like, uh, videos on the tractor ripping. Oh, nice. And that's how he kind of gained a little uh, following. It's pretty cool. Sweet. That's awesome. And then he hit another downtown from Magrebo's Blaster. Let's go, farm. Quentin, Quentin Johnson. Right? That's awesome. And the first one was who? Mahomes? First one was Mahomes, yeah. yeah. We've hit a few Mahomes here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's sweet. Um. Well, yeah, folks. So, hey, um, jump in the giveaway if you haven't already. Um, giveaway is going right now. Should be running as we speak. Let me just double check. Um, yeah, we got twenty-five entries. That's awesome. Okay, cool. There you go. Thirty-three. No, people. no. How come it says giveaways and it's at the timers at zero and you on your phone? It, yeah. It, it, that's why I asked if you ran it yet. Yeah. No, it, it's it's currently active. Oh, it's running right now. It is at zero. Out of a blaster. Very nice, Colt. Very nice. Borb's pizza. pizza. Welcome to the party. Congrats. All right. Right, you want to rip this? Con- con- congratulations. Where's where's the uh Yeah, I'll go get you. Yeah. 
Fitz moved it because it was right here. The razor. Did you rip? Did you move it? All right, folks. While we are waiting on, we're gonna rip Borbert. Hey, Borbert. Yeah, thank you, sir or ma'am. Appreciate you. Um, we're gonna rip your box and ship it to you, my man. Um, feel free, guys. While we're waiting, jump in our seven dollar break spot. Yeah, you got it. You got it, my man. Um, I've never ripped one of these, so this is gonna be new really to me. Interesting. You guys, check it. Take a look in the shop. Doing something new with these singles today. We have a ton of uh, big high end singles. And all the singles are something relevant, right? They're either golf, uh, baseball, or tennis, or soccer. People that are in yeah. the uh, Euros right now. Yeah. So uh, check it out. See if you see anything you like. Feel free to make us an offer. Yeah, make us an offer. Uh, if you see something you like, the sticker doesn't mean anything. I've never ripped this product. Now, I've seen some of the cards, but I've never what are the, what uh, are the, ripped the, the product. The what's the in these? The... Dark Matter and uh, some some other galaxy. Where did we get this product? All right, we got a uh, Nicholas Imalea rookie. Dang, this is, reminds me of those old Metal Universe cards yeah. back in the nineties. Amanda Ansimova tennis. Kayla Williams. Remember her? Tyrese Hunter. I do know Tyrese Hunter. Look how young he is. Yeah. His high school jersey or college? So he's been he's been on like hey Billy Horschel, let's go. Oh man, that's cool. Those are cool cards. That's a Stroud. No, this is the different parallel. Stroud. There you go. Foundation, dude. Any CJ is a good. He takes CJ all day. <laughs> Anthony, let's go. That's a, two rookies. That's a pack, man. Heck yeah, good start. Good start. <laughs> I sleeve those. I like it. I'm sleeving Billy too. It's a rookie. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, let's go ahead and jump into the podcast while we're riffing. Um, the first section of this podcast is going to be about new releases, things coming up. So, Gray, tell the people what we have coming out this Friday. France just scored, by the way. One nothing France already. Let's go. Who scored? I'm looking. That guy looks angry. In the, he must in be the from, ninth minute. He must be from Spain. France. Uh oh. I hope it's not an offside check. They Romero. don't look happy. I'll tell you in a second. Elijah Green, baseball, that's sweet. Yeah, he needs to get going. Another Elijah Green, fresh foundation. Is Was he off sides? Uh, it looks like he might have been off sides. No, he's on. Was it Mbappe? No, it was the Mbappe got the assist. Mbappe, oh. How, he's in. Oh. He's in. That's easy. Easy. Easy money. Jordan Walsh. Jordan sweet. Walsh. Jordan Walsh. All right. Hold on real quick. Let me sleeve uh, Stroud and Richardson, and then we'll talk about what is coming up Wait. in the hobby world. Oh, we just see the last card. If you're a hip-hop fan, the last card will be exciting. Are you going to buy it from him? Yeah, maybe. Drew Jones. Hey, get ready, Borbert, to make me a price on this last card, okay? These cards are kind of cool. Ace Cookus. Ryan Howard. Justin Crawford. That's, that's, a nice that's decent. Carl Crawford's son. Yeah, Billy Prospect. Uh, Bryce Sensabaugh. Force. Where's he? The and Jazz? Killer one? Mike. <laughs> they got rap. That's Mike. awesome. One half of the jewels right there, man. <laughs> hey, Borbin, I buy all hip hop. So if you have any interest in selling that, let me know. Look like like a it's an insert. Denny oh, Denny PCs hip hop. Yeah, I do. My at home, I've got uh, Rick Ross next to uh, Kodak next to um, who's my other one? Got three back to back. back. Oh, Bryce Young. Nice. Got a little, Heck yeah. got a little nick at the top there. So another. Malachi Nelson. Will Anderson. Don't you look up. fly. That is cool. Is that draft day? Oh, darn. <laughs> I will have to say I'm kind of pleased with this box. This is a fun <laughs> product, dude. You get some interesting dude. Gold Diamond. I mean, he got he got all three of the good rookies. Ooh, let's go. <laughs> High voltage. Tiger Woods. So that was one of the, the – that's one of the bigger inserts, I believe. Yeah, Sleeve that. Nice hit. JJ Taylor and uh, Mike Breen. Hey. Randolph uh, Macon. We need that. Breed. Mike Breed. Uh, I, I, I thought the same thing when I was I thought it was our Randolph Macon boy. Me too. Tigers in there. All right. Real quick. He went to where? Mike Breen. How do you know that? Our producer are you, said he went to Fordham. Are you fact checking over there? Last pack. Jaden Bradley. Guy Odom. Tamar Johnson. My guy. Pirates. Brady, Brady Dick. Dick. Another answer. Damn. an insert. Or the, this green. Whatever you call this. Color. That's sweet. Jared McCain. Duke guy, right? 
Yeah, yeah that's, that's a TikTok. Yeah, uh, TikTok dancer. Paint. Well, Sydney McLaughlin, LeBron, you know who she is? Track star? She's sick. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, she's a really good track star. Is she in the Olympics? American. She's American Olympian, yeah. All, All right, right, Warbert, congrats on that. Uncle Pizza's in the break. Appreciate uh, you, man. Will you, do we have a um, long time no see? Hey, Zig, can you get me um, real quick before you roll? The uh, the Warbert, baggies. fair enough. Oh, they're right here. It's probably Come worth on. a dollar, but I'll give it to you because I like you. Okay, Warbert, um, let's get you a sign. Give me uh, $8 break spot and it's yours. I mean, eight. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Thanks for playing. Let's see. Warbert. 22, right? Yeah. Uh, the, the CJ Stroud is numbered to 299. That's oh, really numbered, nice. numbered CJ. That's a good little giveaway. That's Uncle pretty Pizza cool. You, you looked at the cards yet, Gray? Uncle Pizza asked if you, you, you looked at the No, cards. I have not, Pizza. I'm not sorry. Pizza. I've been working him to death, Pizza. You've been, uh... What's up, Hain? Thank you. Pizza, I'll, I'll do it after this. Slap, I'm sure I did. He said, I got, I got fleas. But listen, it's worth $8 to me. So I've <laughs> <laughs> um, never seen that card ever again, that product ever again. But if you exactly. guys like that product, we have. Well, I'm making a mess. Jeez, if you like that please. card, or if you like that product, excuse me, we've got one of these in the shop. 39 bucks. It's a nice, a fun, cheap little rip. And uh, let's get to the podcast, Gray. What do you say? Yeah. Let's do All right, it. let's talk about new releases coming up, Gray. This week, Friday in the shop, what are we getting? So Friday in the shop, we are getting the 2023 Panini Contenders. Yeah, buddy. And I believe we're getting three cases of it. So be ready for those breaks coming up on uh, Friday night. We'll be probably be breaking a, maybe a case of Panini Contenders. Um, that's a... That, that's a really good product when it comes to how many autos you can get in the hobby. There's 301 uh, cards on the checklist for the base set. So if you're into collecting, that's a lot of cards. We're going to talk about uh, Topps Chrome Baseball 2 where it's 300 as well um, if you're trying to collect all those. But you get a total of five autographs. Mm -hmm. Five autos. One is on card. Uh, the four others. Or what, is it, what are the... Read the chat for me, Duke, because I think there's some questions about it, too. And there's four other autographs, but you get at least one on card, which is really nice, especially trying to sell to the market. Captain D's, if, uh, it was supposed to come tomorrow, but we're going to get it Friday. Contenders is coming. It'll be here Friday. Yeah. Got uh, three cases coming. Everything got pushed back a little bit. Uh, make sure you pull that killer mic out of there. I, oh. did, I did buy it from Borber. Sorry, I'm kind of sidetracked here. Um, contenders have been fire. Just in store, yes. Uh, 60... Per case, uh, what's that question? Sixty cards, sixty dollars. So what are you? What are you saying? Oh, autos. Sixty autos per case. That's right. Yeah. Five if you per, do the math, yeah. Yeah, five per box. Twelve. Twelve boxes. Yes. Sorry. When's the top scrum baseball arriving? We thought it was next Wednesday. It just found out today. It's the following Wednesday. So twenty fourth. You don't know. Okay. But it still says July seventeenth on the, the website. Says July seventeenth on like on Top's website. So that's but, why I keep saying. Yeah, we are you July sure? Twenty fourth. It got pushed back a week. We're gonna get a ton of that, boys and girls. That checklist is fun. You guys have checked that out already. You want to talk about the Top's Chrome, Gray? All right. So yeah, the big one that everyone is waiting for is Top's Chrome twenty twenty four for sure. Um, very excited. We have our uh, MVP buyback. Uh, for the third year, Tops is doing that, one of the best programs around. Graybos will be back doing that program. So start collecting who you think the MVP is going to be. Um, and, Danny, we talked about this. What are some of the car, some of the guys that you're going to be collecting out of this right. uh, set? So MVP buyback specifically in the AL. Aaron Judge is the heavy favorite, minus 300 to win the AL MVP. Gunner is second at plus 350. And then Soto is at plus 1,500. Bobby Witt's next, and Jose Ramirez after that. So, like, the main three, uh, Aaron Judge, definitely. Like, Aaron Judge is having a career year, historically, hitting-wise. So, yeah. def look, at, look at Zig. I know he's a Yankee, Zig, but definitely keep your judges. I would say also Soto is a long shot, but Gunner is right there as well. Those would be my three guys that I'm holding on to. Uh, I definitely see Judge coming out of this uh, as the MVP. Because you said he was, what, minus what? 300 minus 300 um in the national league it's a it's a two-man race in my opinion 
Uh, Shohei, obviously, who has switched leagues. Uh, he won it last year. Um, and then you also have Bryce Harper. Yeah, I forgot Shohei minus 330. Bryce Harper plus 800. That's, I mean, if you like Bryce at all, that's good value. I mean, I would, I would bet that. Like Shohei gets hurt. Or Shohei something. gets hurt. Uh, Freddie Freeman's next at plus 1,200. Then you got Marcelo Zuna, Kettle Marte, and uh, Francisco Lindor. For Christian, that's awesome. Congratulations, man, on the, on the baby. I hope your wife is doing well. Zig, Christian had his baby. Well, his wife did. Sweet. Congrats, man. That's awesome. And I'm glad you're with us on, on – uh, are you holding the baby right now in the hospital? He bought a break spot. And bought a break uh, – <laughs> I love it. That's dedication, man. We'll see. No, he's outside. Take getting a break, a little break. Yeah. I used to do that too. I just had to like walk outside and get a little break. <laughs> um, so again, the MVP buyback, something really important. Bring that to Graybo's once the MVP is announced. Um, and you get store credit. I mean, twenty dollars for a base card crazy towards store credit so that's something that you should look uh into um so obviously with the tops chrome you're gonna see a lot of hobbies and jumbos the price point right now for a jumbo is about 420 it's what i'm looking at across the board on average 420 uh 12 packs 13 cards per pack 156 cards in the jumbo with three autographs uh, with the hobby, you're looking at 210 in that range. Hopefully, it gets down to 200. Maybe would be a nice price point. Uh, in the hobby, 24 packs, four cards per pack. That's 96 cards. You get one autograph, so one guaranteed autograph uh, in that uh, in the hobby. So that's kind of what you're looking for when it comes to Topps Chrome. The hobbies and the jumbos, obviously, retail is going to be flying off the shelves as well. Um, some big rookies, some big names. Uh, Jackson Holiday is considered a rookie in this. Ellie De La Cruz, still a rookie. Uh, Colton Kowser. Zig, give me a shout out. Westberg, Jackson Cherio, Wyatt Lankford, uh, Yamamoto, Shoda, Jackson Merrill. A lot of people are not talking about who's an all star uh, for the Padres this year will be a rookie in as well. No skeins. No skeins. Yeah, that's a bummer. But we got a skeins right here. And it's true. If Paper Bowman. Bowman draft twenty twenty three PSA ten. There's the skeins in there. I bought one spot. Their their skeins are. I mean, you could you could flip it real quick. Who won it? Giblets. Arnold Palmer. Arnie the King. Congratulations. That's for you. Uh, Rookie of the year buyback. That's a good idea. Bag that. That's for my guy. Giblets. Giblets. Yeah, rookie of the year buyback would be fun as well. Slab. Um, that will be exciting. All right, folks, we have 12 spots left in our first break. We have plenty of singles. We got we got singles loaded in the shop. We have we have some tennis autos like Alcaraz one to one, Nadal, Serena. Who's my guy? Borber. We got a couple of soccer guys. Yeah, Borbert twenty two won the Borbert twenty two. Yeah. Uh Hayne bought the Atlantic Falcons. Atlanta Falcons in tonight's break. That's gonna be my man Jay Poles tonight. Is pulling. Uh, he's got the. He's gonna have the baby Juju. Yep. Um, I got the Rams in that one later tonight. Trying to pre-sell some spots for my guy. Tops football and basketball release. Do we know anything about that? Fits. Colt is asking. Tops football and basketball. Do we know anything yet on release date? Tops basketball. Not for a while. Not for a while. Couple years. Um, That's for sure. Uh, um. Some new things with Tops Chrome, though. Got some new inserts uh, that look pretty cool. The, they got the Chrome all etched inserts. Uh, if you go and you look, you can look these up. You can, you can go and look them up and see what the car looks like, obviously. So go check that out. They got some, some big inserts that they're putting in, the Strokes inserts. They also have the new black refractors, which are going to be out of 10. So you have your green out of 99, gold out of 50, orange out of 25, Black is now going to be out of 10 and red out of five. And then obviously your super fractors. We're going to be pulling those, pulling that heat here at the Graybo's uh, shop, hopefully. And then you have the 1989 tops baseball inserts, um, which are new for this box as well. Fitz needs some money, Duke. Like, like platinum, the 10. Yes. Uh, zip code is uh, 23230. That is correct, Colt. Yeah, address next door. Spain just tied it up. It's 1-1. One, one. Wow. Spain just tied it up. This kid is 16 years old that just scored. Oh, man. 16. Is he really? Yes. He's so Start buying this kid's card. 
his name? Yamel. 16 year old. 16. What a goal. What a freaking goal. We missed both of them, Denny, because we don't have the sound on. Oh. Man. You guys, if you saw that that soccer goal, that's wild. Um, all right, let's see. All right, we talked about Tops Chrome. What right? a goal, dude. All right, Hold so on, I need to find. Points for Tops Chrome. I think Jumbo will fall around 420 bucks. Javi, 210 Last or $40, give or take. Jumbo has three autos. Javi has one auto. Any other thoughts on Tops Chrome before we move along? Um, No, I just know it's going to be probably one of the best products of the year. You mentioned all the rookies. Yes. Yep, all the case the hits. Talk about that. yeah. I mean, for case hits, obviously you're looking for all the uh, the relics. Um, what are they? The, the tops Chrome authentic autos and relics are the are the big hits that we're looking for. Colt asks if it's the same base design, right? Where are you laughing at? Cole's here finally. That is correct. That is correct. No skeins in that. If you're a Skeens guy. I did not see Skeens. If you're a Skeens guy, we got this in the shop right now. Make us an offer. PSA 10. Did you, did you take the, the guy out, the rapper out of here? No. Killer Mike. You probably just don't realize he's a rapper because he's fat. <laughs> oh, there he is. Okay. Yep. Oh, oh. That is correct, PDR. Um, all right. Is there anything else to talk about? Look who decided to walk in, dude. Cold. France and Spain, Todd. Some other just programming this week, so you guys are aware. Yeah. In the shop and in the, the bar next door. What's up, Army? Thanks for buying in, my man. Um, in the shop this week, we are running trivia uh, Thursday at 2 on the stream here. Um, Jay Poles is breaking tonight. Going to fill that football break. And then uh, Friday night here on Fanatics Live, we're going to run our first uh, major singles auction. Friday night, 7 to 9 p.m. We're back. Singles are back, baby. We're going to focus mainly on $10 to $20 singles. All, this, all the big names, all the stars. Uh, I think you'll enjoy that. Army's going to hit that up Friday night. Programming in parlay this week. Tomorrow, the soccer game is going to be on 3 o'clock. We got a special. We're going to a special on all English and Dutch. Beer, but mostly Dutch beer. <laughs> mostly Dutch beer. So Heineken. Exclusive <laughs> Dutch beer. Get Amso Lights on special. And then if you just go ahead and come at three, start drinking and watching soccer, and just stay for trivia tomorrow night, seven to nine. It's going to be a fun day tomorrow. And then me and Cole, 18 breaking tomorrow night. 18. During, I mean, we just got we just got a star-studded Wednesday. Too much stimulation. Um, how many dogs did Fitz eat? Fitz did not participate. <laughs> Bus. <laughs> had enough regular people sign up. But the winner, the winner ate 12. Second place, eight ten. If that tells you anything, Bus was our uh, uh, Fitz was our social media guy. He was filming that day. He was. And then Thursday night at Parlay, bring your lady friend to watch the debut, the premiere of Housewives of Orange County. We're gonna have it everywhere. We're gonna have one one TV on. Oh, uh, Mosas. On, <laughs> on the Housewives of Orange County. Spade just scored again, two to one. Just like that. Oh, French. The French are angry. God, France is so bad this, in this Euros, man. I thought they would come out in three goals in 25 minutes. Who was it? Oma? He's a nasty. That guy is disgusting. Should have bet, should have bet the over. Very eventful. All right, Greg. Let's, let's get it. Let's do it. You're disgusting. The randomizer. So every card that has to be randomized, does the randomizer win? I think that's what he's going for there with that. Uh, I got to see this goal real quick. All right, let's see who wins the give it. Gracious. <laughs> that's not considering on. <laughs> it's not considering on goal. Fitz, how about uh, Captain D's is asking about Bowman Chrome. Right? <laughs> probably not. Fitz re reacted. All right, guys, the Hank Haney giveaway running now. Randomizer got in there. Thank you, sir. Randomizer. We appreciate you. Boom and Chrome. Oh, you, meant tops, you meant Tops. Yeah, Tops Chrome is July 24th. 24th. July 24th. Was, was supposed to be the 17th. Hash Browns is the winner of the Hank Haney. Hey, two Hash Browns. Get in the. This guy changed Charles Barkley's swing. Hey, I got Eisenberg. 
uh, representative. Yep. A long time. Just kind of it says his name on the back. Hey, Hash Browns, welcome to the party. Um, all right, guys, we have seven you see spots that? left. In our, I'm sorry, six now. He was established a global brand with help. From sports marketing agency Octagon agent Jeremy Eisenberg. Oh, you know yeah. That? Oh, yeah. On the back. Pick that up. Read the back of this, Hash Browns. This is Jeremy Eisenberg. That's our guy. He's one of our customers and investors here at Grey Bows. So, Uncle Pizza's getting in. How many we got left? Five left, guys. Five spots left. In our Five first. spots left in our first break. Very exciting. Uh, who'd you say won that? Sorry, Hash Browns. Two, Two Hash Browns. Browns. What's better than one Hash Brown? Two. Two Hash Browns. Can you get on. Uh, have you checked? Hey, you checked eBay? Get on it. You have about like three that are about to end that you we might take. <laughs> I hear you, Colt. Two is better than one. Three's too many. Three's too many hash browns, but two is just right. I love, I love me some hash browns, some McDonald, McDonald's, McDonald's hash browns. Yeah. <laughs> so you get, hash you get two out of that. All right, we're going to start the podcast while we are waiting for this to fill. So, again, five spots left, $8 a spot. It's two box, random baseball breaks as we're getting into the all-star break very soon. Top Series 2 hobby. So, hopefully, we pull an auto out of that, maybe out of the silver pack as well. And then the Archives 2020, that is one card. Usually, we've been hitting a lot of one-on-ones out of it. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully we pull a, pull a big one. Let's pull a Hank, one of the Hank Aarons. We pulled a one of one, Don Mattingly, Mark McGuire, um, uh, Pop, Big Poppy, and somebody else. I mean, there's been like six or seven, a lot of one of ones. Zig, did you say yet? Yeah, uh, Carlos Strimsky? Oh, yeah, yeah, as one of one, yeah. Uh, Pizza said Zig, acting like he's working. He is working. He's, uh, he, 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 uh, oh, he's, he's clocked, clocked out. out. He was, he's ripping, he's ripping some stuff. He's ripping, yep. Oh, yeah, Big Cat was the other one. Andres Galarraga. I was like, Same. Big Cat, like, part of my take. <laughs> yeah. The original Big Cat was, remember Andres? Andres Galarraga, absolutely. Yep, yep. All right, boys and girls, five spots left. Let's jump into the Scottish Open. Um, Scottish Open is like the precursor to the British Open, which is next week. Um, let's get into Gray. Can you give us a course update of the Genesis Scottish Open? The Renaissance Club in North Berwick, Scotland. Yeah, so like Denny said, this is kind of like your preview to the Open Championship, the last major of the year. A lot of guys are coming across the pond to get used to the Lynx style golf course. Um, as we head to the Renaissance Club in North Berwick, Scotland, you have 156 golfers competing this week. The cut will be top 65 in ties. This course lines up at a par 70, 7,200 yards. Rory, if you remember, was last year's winner. And he had the he buried the last three holes, uh, one of the most unbelievable last three holes I've ever seen to beat. Yeah, like one of like he's not known for being clutch. That was his yeah, very. Oh my gosh! Remember when he? Uh, I just remember on eighteen he ripped it into the rough and it was like a two hundred yard shot and he hit it into five feet and beat the Scottish Robbie Ma Bobby McIntyre who Bobby Mac who I had a hundred to one. <laughs> he came in second. It was, it was unbelievable. Did you use the dribblets theory? Um. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I was in the car. I was in the car. I remember watching in the car. Yep. Um, a sleeve. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Got it right here. Oh, so man. about the course, it's a Lynx Coastline Golf. Wind is this golf course's defense, um, but it's interesting looking at reports and uh, reading stuff online that there's not going to be a lot of wind, but that can definitely change. Um, and it's still a difficult golf course without the wind. It's going to be firm and fast. You have large greens, so you're going to see a lot of three putts will be very common. So we're looking for good putters this week, good lag putters this week, Denny. You're one of those. Three reachable par fives and one reachable par four. So we're also looking for uh, big hitters. Um, that can get there when there's no wind. Um, so some things I'm looking for when I'm like drafting my DraftKings team, my fantasy team is strokes gained approach, uh, strokes gained off the tee, put it in the fairway. Link's experience is huge. So deep dive into the DP World Tour players. You got to know some European to tour players this week. Three putt and bogey avoidance and good win players are my keys to victory this week. Thoughts, Fitz? Fix this. Mm -hmm. Again, today's actually not trivia. Today is the Grey Bows Giblet podcast. So we're trying something new. So Thursday, still trivia, two to five. That's when begin. Begin. Uh, one L. I know it begin. I went three shines. Um, today we're doing a, our Grey Bows Giblet podcast. We're recording it. We're going to release it on Apple and Spotify like we normally do. 
but we're actually doing it live here while we're selling some cards. So uh, today's a little different. Running the podcast, we're selling big singles that are relevant in today's world. So really, uh, tennis, soccer, uh, and baseball. And you can see those in the shop. And feel free to make us an offer on those guys. Those prices are not necessarily firm. Um, who is Gray's expert pick to win the Scottish Open? Well, actually, Colt, if you keep listening. We'll, we'll get, get there. Contact. We'll get there. We'll get there. We got a lot of picks, that, a lot of bets to make. You done with your uh, course updates? I'm done with my course updates. Time to get into some uh, DraftKings lineups here. Gray and I love to build daily fantasy lineups in both football and golf. Golf, and oh, so yeah. We break our, our DFS picks into three categories uh, based on salary, 9000 and up. Seven to nine K and under seven K. Um, so you're nine K and up are your big guys. So great. Who are you targeting in this nine K and up? Well, it's funny that Colt says he's got Fleetwood because I think Fleetwood is the best play uh, for his price. Uh, Fleetwood's ninety nine hundred. He's coming off last year. He was sixth, and the year before was fourth at this event. Um, he can win overseas. He's known for winning overseas. He can't win in the states, but. He's someone that is gearing up for the open. He's someone that could put the ball in the fairway. He has great irons. So, unfortunately, Scotty is not playing in this, or you probably would see me picking Scotty. But Fleawood, and then I'm going with, I'm going to kind of fade Rory and Xander for their price and going with the young sensation of Ludwig Aber. I know I want to say Aberg, but it's pronounced Aber. Due to win a big one, right? 10,500. Yeah, he. He, he's right there. Um, he just needs to put all four days together. Um, he was right there for the last the last major that Bryson won, the PGA Championship, excuse me, the U.S. Open Championship, just had a really bad Saturday um, and couldn't put it all together. I really like his game. I think he's a great Lynx player be, be, being from Sweden. So those are my two guys in that range. Next giveaway is going to be the Sam Bennett, uh, Young Bennett. Who is just a U.S. Open killer. Every U.S. Open, that guy's in the top ten. He is. At one point. You can tell like Dave Bergen. So Young Guns. So that's his rookie. Sam Bennett, Young Guns rookie. Denny, if you had to pick, who would be your top dogs up top? I actually agree with you guys with, uh, believe it or not, with Fleetwood being the best value. Um, so um, if you're looking at Rory at 11900 man, he's just got to win it for that price. And he might. He very well could. But coming off the heartbreak, uh, from a couple weeks ago, I'm just not gonna take Rory until he looks like he's uh, he can win, and, and maybe it's this week. But I'm just gonna fade him. Uh, Xander's interesting at 11-7. I think Xander's you know had success here. He's um, just playing hot. He's, he's really good. He's just really good right now. Tom Kim's interesting at 9,500, but I do think as far as 9,000 and up, my pick is Fleetwood at 9,900. I like it. I like it. Yeah, Fleetwood. Fleetwood uh, is gonna be a common thing on this on this podcast. I, I think. See. It's on both cards. So the next category, seven to nine. Gray has three guys he likes. I like two guys at this price. Um, and one of these names are on both of our lists. Yeah. And I think it's the Belgian, Mr. Dietrich. <laughs> Why do you like him so much? Uh, success here. And he's played well. He's playing very well. Like, I always like current form. He's playing, his current form is really good. Like, in the United States, when he was playing tough courses, has been really good. He's, had, he's got two top tens in the last seven weeks. Yeah. And then he, at this tournament, he came in second and tenth in the last yep. three years. I, I, I like his betting number. Is like what? What is it? Sixty to one? Seventy. Seventy. Yeah. I'm gonna sprinkle that. And his price here at DraftKings is only seventy two hundred. I like Dietrich a lot. I he's think. Be chalky, I think he. Yeah, I think he's a good Ryder Cup guy too. Once he, uh, once they get to that point, I like Dietrich. I think he'll be a little chalky at that number at that price. But two guys I really like that I don't think will be chalky that haven't been their form hasn't been great. But if you tell me Max Homo is at seventy seven hundred and is sixty five to one, you better believe me and Fitz are betting him. Correct? I mean that is crazy. I've never seen Max Homo sixty five one so, so much. He's been bad. Like yeah. don't get me wrong, he's been bad. Like I can see why people are going to be off of him and he might have a, a bad round. But he's been decent here. Like if you look at his numbers. Um, from the last Scottish Open, he's been in the top 20 uh, both times. That's what I like about him. He's a gamer. He's a competitor. He's been working on his game. He's not going to stay bad for very long. I mean, he's a Ryder Cup guy. He's a President's Cup guy. Uh, Colt loves his swing, so I'm in. Oh, you've seen Homa um, roast people on Instagram? That's the funniest thing ever. It is. Yeah. Has he been doing it lately? People ask him. I don't know. Probably when he's playing bad, he probably doesn't do it as much. But Four spots left. Who got in? Four spots left in our break. Captain D is very nice, very nice. Uh, the other guy I like, if there's no wind, 
because he can hit the crap out of the ball and he can putt is Wyndham Clark at 8,100. Um, again, someone with not the greatest form coming in, but is a major champion. He is now going to the Olympics. I think people are saying that he shouldn't be part of the Olympic team, that Bryson should be in, and I think that's getting to him. I think he's going to come out. Uh, I think he's going to come out and be do very well here because this course matches up very well with Wyndham as a Lynx golf course, and I don't think there's going to be a lot of win this week. Now, that could change, but I do like Wyndham for the price yeah. and the value at 8100 He's a gamer, too. So who's the other guy that you like besides Dietrich? I think you're going with the home, the homeboy. A name that you mentioned earlier, Bobby Mack, uh, Robert McIntyre. At 7,800, came in second in this event. Uh, he won a tournament a couple months ago. Um, and so I'd say, you know, that's pretty good value at 7,800. Um, let's move down to the long shots. Anybody under 7K? Um, Bryson should be on the Olympic team, Pizza says. What do you think? I mean, yeah, but I, I agree with you, Pizza, but he's, Liv is not part of the Olympic point system. So, I mean, that sucks for him. Yeah. I mean, I mean that's just the rules. Uh, take that live money. You, you know, yeah, you, you know, like it. these guys, these golfers knew exactly what they were getting into. Like they did it for the money. Good for them. They got a lot of money, but you're losing out on a lot of things. And I'm sure that's getting to a lot of people like John Rahm, who's been awful. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bryson's been unbelievable. All right. Let's go under 7,000 gray. I will say, I will predict Bryson will be on the president's cup. I do think Keegan Bradley, who is supposed to be named the captain after Tiger turned it down. We'll pick Bryson as one of the people to be on the yeah. President's Cup. Yeah, and as much as I used to dislike Bryson, I still kind of dislike him, but he uh, can play golf. He can play golf, and he, I will say he's gotten a lot better. Is it? Is it for all the cameras? Maybe, but it's a lot better he's still than a nerd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't believe his how you know as dominant as Rom was for five years. How bad he's playing now? It's yeah. Interesting. Um, all right, Gray, That's what that's what happens when you don't play competitively every week and you play a shotgun, stupid. Four up, uh, stupid. Uh, what's the term? What's the term I'm looking for? Um, I mean, like iron sharpens iron. That's why all of us working at Grey Bows together, we make each other better. Yeah. Right? Is that right? Yeah. Fits, fits format. Down. Thank, thank you, pizza. <laughs> stupid format that they have of three days shotgun start. It's not championship setting. All right. Um, I'll ask Gray for this. So, anyways, eight oh four. Thank you for buying the Seahawks in tonight's break. Jay Paul's gonna run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Randomizer. Nep nephew, uh, nephew Pizza will be running it tonight. Nephew Pizza's running it tonight. Hey guys, Sims. Congrats, Sims. You got a Sam Bennett canvas card. Uh, three spots left in our first break, boys. Um, they got a DJ. Yeah, baby, I love that guy. Yeah, Sims is. Oh, Sam Bennett. As much as you love Sam Bennett, Sims, we love you even more. Um, all right, great. Under seven K. Huge fan. Huge. All right. This is where you got to kind of dig deep and know uh, who's playing on the DP World Tour. Two guys below 7K that should be a little higher, in my opinion, but people just don't know who they are. Is uh, uh, Ferguson, I think you pronounce it, Ewan Ferguson, uh, 6,700. He won last week. So current form is great. Uh, and he's 6,700. And then there's Jordan Smith. This guy shows up for every Open Championship. He's in the top 30 every year. He's 6,600. Last week, he was the runner-up to Ferguson. And then at the Scottish Open, he's finished 12th and 24th the last two years uh, for 6,600. Jordan Smith the, from England. From England. I really like him. And he plays strictly on the DP World Tour, so no one knows anything about him. I will sprinkle... Some on him to win it all at 125 to one as well. If you knew anything about Gray or his father, is that they wake up early in the weekends and watch the European <laughs> tour like it's their job? They really. I was saying my dad more than me. Like every Sunday morning, growing up, I was like, "What are you watching at 6 a.m.?" He was like, "This is the European tour." <laughs> yep. Right before church. Yep. Every day. Every Sunday. What about 7K? Honestly, I don't like a lot of the names there. Not well, you're not supposed to. Right. But I like any of the Hogards. Um, uh, in Hogard or R Hogard, uh, I just love them. Um, <laughs> both have had top ten finishes here, and I'm gonna do a slight lean towards towards R Hogard. Um, <laughs> do you know? Do you know what R is? Rasmus. Rasmus, yeah. I was, I was gonna ask. Him, just crack it up over there. I'm gonna ask if Fitz knew what N or R stands for. Nikolai, and did you know Rasmus as well? Um, under the. All right, Pizza got the uh, Buccaneers in tonight's break. Thank you. 
Pete just had good luck with his team. That's his PC team. Yeah, you have. All right, three spots left in this first break, boys and girls. Shooter, Shooter McGavin, McGavin odds. odds. Odds to odds to be on he's uh, Twitter. He's up there with Bagger Vance. As far as <laughs> um, Happy Gilmore 2 coming out. Going straight to Netflix. What do you think? Bag of ants. <laughs> Sims, I've never laughed so hard when you sent Denny your photo of the big brain when you about trivia to, uh, tomorrow night. It wasn't even like a Photoshop. That was like when he, you just never seen without a hat. That's what, uh, it's Mega Mind. That's what his head looks like. Mega Mind. Um, all right, folks. I think that I think the crowd would like to see Sims is a. Uh, I think they would too. This picture. Um, where is it? Here we go. Tons of knowledge, brother. This is uh this is my tr- one of my someone on my trivia team this tomorrow night trivia tonight. tomorrow night <laughs> and we, listen we love him just the way he is uh but he's coming tomorrow night that's incredible in. it's pizza that's Luke incredible pizza, nephew pizza Denny Sims Matt Gay wait is pizza on your team with yeah. Matt Gay yeah we can't lose that's a good that's a good squad we can't lose I think that, that Colt was- can't drive someone go pick him yeah. up the living magpie so uh we're not doing trivia now. You're just joining us, but tomorrow night's so Maggie. That's Maggie. Are you, yeah. <laughs> are you playing or working, Maggie? Okay. Cool. Oh yeah, back tip her well. All right. Well, Maggie, we'll sit in your section, okay? The winning team, and uh, if we win a cash prize, whatever, then uh, the tip will be handsome. Yes. Almost as handsome as Fitz, his hair. Fitz is Fitz is hair. All right. Let's get into. <laughs> and Maggie said yes. All right. <laughs> let's get into the next section of the podcast. Uh, Fitz does have nice hair. It's so about these damn three teams. Sims got to get back to work. Sims on a roof right now. Yeah, man. S- selling some, selling some roofs. Cole, it's got to be hot out there. Sure, that could be arranged. Yeah, Cole, for our finest customer, our favorite customers like you. Yeah, we'll get you an Uber if your parents will allow it. How old do you have to be to take an Uber legally by yourself? Is it fourteen or sixteen? I believe I, I've seen some. I've seen some middle schoolers do 16. it. Sixteen. Hey, that's between you and your parents, Cole. It's not my call. Okay. I'll assist any way I can legally and ethically, but that's that's all I could do. Yeah, that's 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 your parents. All right, here we go, guys. The next section of the podcast is the one and done. So Gray and I and Fitz and all these degenerate golf betters, we like to do one and done pools. That's where you pick one golfer, however many prize dollars he gets, he gets that many you get that many points. If you miss the cut, you get zero. Thanks Law- for Lawmonger buying. Thank Law- you, Lawmonger. Monger. Thank you. Two spots left. Two, two. And if anyone wants to get in this one and done league next year, just holler. Just, run just by hollering at us. Green, the finest pool runners, legal legal pool runners in all of the yeah. Richmond area. Very legal. Nice, Cole. A few months ago until my permit. Ooh, someone got in the permit fits. Uh-oh, we sold out. We sold out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Sizzler. 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 All right, so we're going to stop. Go stop here for now yes. as we're going to. Uh, Hobby and. Yeah, this one. we can go two. We can go two two ways. Those two or these two. Um. Well, that this is the only hobby. All that's, right. That's the next breaker. All right. Why don't you break half and then I'll break half or whatever you want to do it. Tell me the Great Bus Fantasy League. I think we should do that. We did it last year, didn't we? There was a Great Bus Fantasy Football League last year, but it was oh, Great Bus and Dots and employees. But we should do Great Bus customers. Great right? Bus customers. And how you want to do that? Because that's going to be high demand. Um, I mean, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Uh, most dollars spent on Fanatics Live. <laughs> 16. 20 man, 20 man league. Um, Colt's already got his magazines. I remember the day when I'd go out and get my magazines. All right, here we go, guys. Let's now, randomize this break. Now I ready? pay for a site. <laughs> Randomizer has been hit. And we have 11 different buyers. Thank you. All right, here we go. Denny got the Yankees, Reds, A's, and Guardians. Nice. Those, Forbert, you got the Reds and Yankees. Forbert traded the killer Mike for the Blue Jays. Yeah, Denny's happy with their Yankees. Um, Pizza got the Pirates, Rockies, Giants, Angels, Braves, White Sox, and Padres. Sims got the Nats and the Red Sox. Slab God got the Orioles and the Rangers. Good teams there, Slab God. Lawmonger got the Twins. Captain D's got the Cards, Royals, and Cubs. Hain and his new baby got the Diamondbacks, Marlins, Brewers, and Mets. Army got the Astros, Rays, and Phils. And Sizzler. Sizzler closed us out with the Tigers and the Mariners. And hey, Farmer. 804 takes Dodgers. the Dodgers. Very nice. Good nice team hit. to get. One team to get the Dodgers. That's nice. Where is my All right, so that's now breaking. Water. 
We are going to feature this next break, folks. The next break is similar to this one. We have a Topps Archive box, and then we have a, um, a Series 2 Monster. Slightly, slightly uh, lesser, cheaper. I'm going to get a box. We have 24 here. spots left in that one. Jonathan Brooks, we have Fancy Dog for the Panthers. Okay. All right, I can dig it. I'm not mad at that. <clears throat> All right, folks, while we are ripping, um, we are pre-selling the next break. Again, take a look at any of the singles in the shop. We've got, a, we've got some loaded singles. And we'll, we, we are happy to negotiate on the prices. So I'll actually do it. I'm ready. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll rip some. We'll trade off. All right, let me do that one. Keep talking off. Um, well, we could do that. What about uh? What about? Sam said no. Don't let Gray touch. Okay, fine. I won't touch him. You know how your luck runs. Okay, no offense. Man, I hope. I hope. I hope I rip it and it hits. So what Sims his teams? Um, they weren't as they weren't as good as he wanted them to be. Um, Sims's teams were uh, randomizer the Nats and the Red Sox. Oh, Red Sox have become going crazy out of there. <laughs> hey, Karen, I'll jump on your <laughs> uh, let's while you're ripping, talk about talk about Wimbledon. We got some we got some awesome tennis cards up here. Uh, yeah. It's so funny. I don't know if you guys watch the ladies' tennis, but the ladies is wide open. <laughs> Coco's out. Uh, the one side really has the four seed left, and the others are people that have never been there before. You've really got some uh, interesting. That's awesome. Here. And the men's, man. Who, who are y'all taking in the men's? I, Center, gone. Center's gone. I'm, the Joker's still there, right? He still has to play. The Joker, who, you know, got a bum knee, but it's holding up. So, so Dude, good. he's so good. So good. He's man. the second favorite. You want him, and I'll take Alcaraz? No, I'll okay. take Alcaraz with Joker's got a bum knee. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you do, Sims. Um, I think that's documented, actually. That's not, that's not a rumor. That's true. Um, would you take Alcaraz or the field? Tommy, Tommy Paul? Paul lost. Tommy Paul. Uh, Young for the ring. Austin. I was trying yeah, to think I'll of what I was going to say, sleep. but I'm also like, watching. Right there. I got you. Now I got a sleeve, so. Covering the field, Trey Turner. And if you're into Trey Turner, check out this beat right here, boys. Look at this guy. 2014. SGC. First. It's first. That's a, that's a beaut. That's in the shop. We take offers. We do. Oh, you, you picked him at the start? Just cop. Uh, what do you mean you picked him at the start? Like, did you actually bet him or you just, uh, he can't bet. You're young. You're not allowed to bet. Sorry. <laughs> at least not in, the, not in the state of Virginia. All right, Sims, who do you want to hit? Sims wants to hit Tristan Casas. Mm-hmm. Let's see. That'll be for the so who's, who's the guy that beat uh, center today? Um, Evidev, five seed. Lance Lance for the cards. Evidev's a dog. He's, a, he's, won the, he's won Grand Slam before. He's good. He's a dog. So he's you, right. you have him in the Joker. So... Take them over the. I would take him. Uh, I would take them, and then you get. I get the field. I, not. Um, I said Alcaraz over the field. So you, you would get Djokovic and everyone else. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you would do that. Okay. What are we gonna bet? I don't know. I like to bet push-ups, but my shoulder still hurts. Did uh when you bet uh then you bet Tristan push-ups? Did he ever do them? Um no, but he offered. Seto ever doing? Was Seto? Yeah. Seto owes me push-ups and other stuff. Seto, are you out there? Yeah. <laughs> Colt, Center uh, was the one seed. Uh, Alcaraz. Yeah, Center was the two big. or three, and Djokovic is two or three. I forget which is which, but uh, Center was the one seed. But yeah. he ran it. Medvedev is the five seed, and that's who he lost to today. They went, they went five, though. Yeah, it was, a great, it was a great match. Do we think France comes back here? Ooh, a little around the horn. Donnie Baseball. Love Donnie Baseball. Donnie. Spencer Steer. For the, the Yankees. I mean, yeah, honestly, for the next 10 years, guys, it's going to be center and Alcaraz. I'll, I'll say Alcaraz one, center two. But yeah, the jo- Joker's kind of fading now. In he's, the old, like, yeah. he's old. I mean, he might win one or two more. But what about that Shelton kid? Ben Shelton is the dog. He's, he's got, he's only 21 he's got like a, what's his serve again? Fast, but he's 21. He looks, <laughs> fast. But he's only 21 years old. Back to back Garrison. Yeah. Uh, we got uh, Rutherford for the Nats. There you go. Sims. There's a little 
Kerstad for my ooh yeah the Orioles. Kerstad. Um, Kerstad. I hope we hit an auto out of this. Hope we do too. Not a relic. We're gonna either hit an auto or a relic mem card. Right, do you want to give um while we're sorting through the paper and stuff, talk about the uh, one and done standings? Yeah, we can do that. Um, so with one and done standings, so with with what we do with this golf is you pick one golfer per week and then you can't use them again. So there's a lot of strategy involved. And then wherever they place, you get that salary or that money that they won that week. So obviously the majors are worth more. If you have some bigger tournaments, Scottish Open's pretty big, not, but not one of the biggest. Oh, I got Sims. Got a little Teddy, got a little Teddy Williams. Williams. Okay. Um, so in our one and done league, Fitz was in 71st place and has moved to 59th. I was in. Uh, you were at 14th, but everyone's starting to pick winners in in big groups. Yeah. Because I was in 29th, and I haven't missed a I haven't missed a cut. I haven't missed a freaking cut, and I'm now in 96. Yeah, I mean, Deschambeau, which is in, yeah, Deschambeau, right? Which is crazy. Baby. Um, Deschambeau hurt a lot. It hurt me bad because everybody had him and I didn't. And um, and last week too. I like the first man. Not Davis Thompson, but who won the week before that? Um. Jackson Rowe. Um, hey, guys, I know you love this jacket. Um, now that I'm ripping and zenning, I'm too hot. He said it zenning. <laughs> Woo! Okay, now I look like a golfer, right? This is a golf podcast. This is one of my favorite golf shirts. Uh, and Denny has gone from 65th to 87th. But tied for the – you were winning, but tied now tied for the lead for most cuts. In the, Minus the last two. The, oh, man, the person who – Get picks the most cuts. Five hundred bucks. It's five hundred bucks. Yeah. So you you have twenty six made cuts. Red Sox. I'm I'm one behind you at twenty five. There you go. There's Very a Casas. Nice. Uh, yeah. So my pick this week, going with Colt and going with my betting and Dodger is Fleetwood Mac. Tommy Fleetwood Mac is going to be my one and done pick. I think this week. Now I've debated maybe I go to Wyndham Clark this week and save Fleetwood Mac for next week in the Open Championship. I still might do that, but right now it's Fleetwood Mac. That's a good pick. I like Fleetwood, but I've already taken D Tree this week in the one and done. Hey, um, Colt once again in Fantasy Football League. Yeah, we got. We would love to have you, Colt. We got to figure out the way to do it. I think we'll have more than twelve or sixteen people that want to do it. We maybe we do it like the Premier League, where the bottom three get bumped down and, and relegate. the t- and relegate. <laughs> Can we call the can we call like the Denny bracket and the Finkeldale bracket, and then the top the top the top three get bumped up. Yeah, I like that. He said, "Mr. Finkeldale, come over and wear the suit." Fink, dance, Finkeldale, dance. <laughs> <laughs> Sawyer Gibson Long for the Tigers. John McMillan for the Royals. Parker Meadows for the Tigers. Graham Ashcraft. Parker Meadows has been Paris. He's been playing a lot. Javi Baez. Fire teammates reunite. All right. We're still looking for that auto relic card. You'd have a draft in parlay. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, this place was Absolutely. built to have drafts. And that reminds me. Oh, you yeah. You better start reserving your pods for drafts because they're getting filled up. Yeah, guys. If you. Or in other leagues, obviously, fancy football leagues, the pods are there. The bays over there at parlay were meant fancy football drafts you can go ahead and start booking them now for your draft we expect those to fill up like the whole month of august yeah we could definitely do Since goes on man he didn't ask we could I definitely know. do a daily uh uh fancy football yeah do like 25 dollars entries every week it would be fun sure Jordan Lawler, the Diamondbacks. you don't have to tell me that simeon Rain. so you're take so denny's taking detry if you didn't hear that in his one and done yep um Outright winners. This is the fun part, Denny, where we get to tell people who we have bet on so we can all root together or root against. Tim, who- Dinger Tuesday it is. There's a lot Dinger going on. Tuesday today as well. I, I posted it. Yeah, I posted Dinger Tuesday. There's a lot going on here at Graybo's. Um, Denny, who are your uh, – Who are your – Who are your uh, uh, one, bets? My one and dones. Um no, no, your bets. Colt took Gunner. Yeah, my one, my, my sorry, my outright winners. Outright winners. <laughs> took Dietrich at seventy to one. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit on Xander at eight and a half to one. I am fading uh, Rory. Um, I like Fleetwood at twenty to one. Tom Kim at twenty eight to one, and Bobby Mack at forty five to one. But Dietrich 
At 70 to 1, that's where I'm going to do the driblet strategy, do a couple of small bets on him so I can cash one out, let it ride. Cash driblets. Out, let it ride. Driblets. It's called driblets. Yes. Uh, for me, I'm going Fleetwood 20 to 1 is my main bet. Uh, Wyndham Clark, you can get at ESPN at 50 to 1. I like that a lot. Max Homa, Ooh. anytime you can get Max Homa 65 to 1, even though he's not playing well, go to FanDuel and get him at 65 to 1. And then I'm going to sprinkle. Sims. Sims, that's you, baby. Sims hit a. Yeah, out of, out of 2024. Oh, that's worth so much. Sims. <laughs> <laughs> Will Benson there. And then I'm going to sprinkle some DP World Tour guys. Uh, McKibben, Tom McKibben at 90 to 1. And 90. Jordan Smith at 125 to 1. You like the Jordan Smith kid, huh? I do like the Jordan Smith kid. All right, you got me sold on him. The I'm Jordan in- Smith kid's going to be my best bet here. We riding. Gray, J Jets or Tyreek this year for fantasy? Uh, I mean, I'm going. Je- I mean, I'm going Jefferson because of my boy. But you can't go wrong with Tyreek Hill. Tyreek's got probably like two more years. Yeah, at being like elite, probably his age. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's hard. To, it's hard to go against either one of those. Aren't uh, you'd be happy to get either one of them? Jefferson's my boy, but who's throwing to Jefferson? Right, like yeah, that's the thing you got to worry about. Sam Darnold for a couple weeks is McCarthy really the guy? There's my Dinger Tuesday pick every Tuesday right there, baby. Tatis. Tatis truther. Tatis, Tatis, Tatis. We haven't hit the auto or mem yet, have we? We have so not. Gonna be, what pack's it going to be in? Uh, Colt, how many years does he have left on the contract? Jonathan Bowling. Let's see who, this, who we got here. All right. Outfielder. American League. Yankees. Soto. Soto, Let's go. Soto. Soto. Let's go, baby. For the good guys. Uh, we riding. So this segment, we riding is our is our best bet. This is the bet you should actually bet with us. We're so good at them. Uh, so I'm gonna be riding Denny's bet. He's gonna be riding my bet. Sims, you should be riding. Uh, Denny, who's obviously you're probably going Dietrich yeah, somewhere. So, so I'm down. To, yeah, there's two different ways I'm gonna bet Dietrich for my we riding segment. Dietrich top twenty is plus two sixty. Dietrich top they're, ten they're is plus six hundred. I'm going to sprinkle something on both, but if you're asking me for my one pick, it's Dietrich top 10 plus 600. I'm not riding either of you. <laughs> Sims, and we're okay with that. I knew it was going to be a joke like that. So, Dietrich. Uh, Colt, that's exactly what we're doing. Yeah, this is, this is that segment. This is like, of all the things we do, this is the one bet that we are actually make every week. We make the we ride bet. We yeah. actually put real money we on it. We put real money on it. Legally and ethically. Through, not through us. We're not a book. Uh, but through sports books. Like, I think Fanatics has a sports book, possibly. I'm going to check out. They um, do. Yep. They sure do. But, shop uh, around. Shop around. Yeah. Shop around. Uh, so you got Dietrich top 20. Yeah. And no, I'm, plus, I'm, I'm going Dietrich top 10 is my one bet. All right. So you're going top 10 plus 600. Yep. Correct. Woo! Great day, didn't it? All right, mine, I'm talking a lot about this Jordan Smith kid uh, out of England who shows up for these events. He's got to show up in the Open Championship. His top 40, so he just has to get in the top 40, is plus 120. Um, so that is my best bet. You get plus money for a top 40. I like it. So we're just rooting for him to get in the top 40. I like it. Um, he, like I said, he's been the, uh, in the top 25 the last two years. So. I like it a lot, Denny. I like it a lot. All right, man. You, you talked me into this kid, man. All right, let's see who this is. American League outfield for the Angels. Oh, a little Mikey Trout. Man, poor Trout, man. He's already done enough in his career. I know, he but, like, he could do so much more. Um, all right, let's see here. Uh, Hayne says he wants another case break of Tier 1. Do we have any Tier 1 left or are we out? More coming. We got, we got ca- more coming. We got more cases coming, and we do have uh, – we do have loose hobbies in there, right? And we did a half case break last night, and we whipped. So these, la- these loosies. These personals, these last six. If y'all want to go nuts, rip a Percy of the uh, Tier 1 because they we have to have something in it because the first half of the case was buns. Colt's done with Tier 1. I think so, he, so you hit a Volpe auto out of 25. Yeah. Whew. Jackson Wolf for the Pirates. Gunner for those. Fresh case. Fresh case Thursday. Thursday, tier one. Not tomorrow. What are me and Cole going to run? Home run challenge Fresh. for Lindor. For the Mets. Uh, we want to do a half case? Sweet. We, could do a, we might do a half case tomorrow night. Um, 
Christian, so while you're in the hospital holding that baby, mm-hmm. what's her name, by the way? Or his name, sorry. Dude, what's the baby's name? Bailey. Okay. Bailey. Bailey Haney. I like it. Bailey Haney? Bailey Zappy. Jung Hoon? Oh, yeah. That's Yamamoto. The sleeve. The Lee. Winning in baseball. Hello, Yamamoto. We got a, um, that goes with the Giants. Assistant coach. Gunner. Let's start him. Gunner for the O's. All right. We're starting to heat up here. Huh? Oh, man. Got to gotta sleeve the women Ooh, in baseball. Need, some water. need more Are platinum. You? Oh, Colt likes a platinum. What are you doing? Some creating? Yeah, man. platinum has been really good. Even then, blasters. All right, randomizer. Randomizer thinks it's this pack, okay? Well, let's hope he's right. All right. We're still looking for the auto or uh, relic here. <laughs> Three packs left plus the fun pack. Oh, man. I am a little sweaty. Oh, did you get a little sweaty on your life? I think I'm going to quit zenning. No more zenning for me for a while. At least two hours. <laughs> Tovar. Lawrence Butler for the A's. We got a fan favorite, Tatis. Uh, we also got... Uh, Home Run Derby coming up. Yeah. I think we have four contestants. We were waiting for four more, I believe. So we got Bobby Witt. Bobby Witt. We got Pete Alonzo, who's probably going to be the favorite, Mm -hmm. right, after winning a couple times. Yeah. Um, Gunner. Gunner's in it. And uh, who's the other one? The uh, the Phillies. Alec Alec Boehm. Guardians. Boehm. How do you say it? Boehm? There we go. Boehm. That's our freaking hit. It's not an auto. No, it's not, but it's for the uh, Guardians. All right, last pack. I'm hoping there's somebody in here that autographed. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Sims. Eventually, you'll be right. Like a broken clock. Man, I'm sweating. Victor Rodnick. Uh, Val Frank. Oh, look at that little Tatis. That is the fun jersey. Do we whiff on the auto? We, we in the fun pack. No, we hit the. It's either an auto or a relic. Uh, so we hit, yeah. That was it then? Yeah, the we hit the relic. Ooh, okay. That's why I said, "Darn it." <laughs> ben Rice's game? No. Ben Rice is nasty. All right, here we go, guys. Have fun. Go nuts. Wade Meckler for the Giants. That's Scherzer. that's Sims's boy, Wade Meckler. Yeah, it is. Sims's boy. Ooh, little Mickey Mantle. The Yanks. Look at that. We got to do have an auto. Hey, oh, good Russell. hit for the Red Sox. Okay. That's Sims. That is Sims. Good. That's a good hit. I'll buy that from you, Sims. Post your polls. Heck yeah. All right, guys. Woo. So that, all right. That box was not good until the Silver Pack and Rafaela auto for the Red Sox came out. That's beautiful. It's nice. He's been, he's been on fire. On fire for the Sox. Yes, yes. All right, Gray. I'll let you rip this one. All right. Let me put this in the box. You all right over there? No. Whew. Sweaty. <laughs> it's your boy. I've now learned to not mix Kratom and, uh, and Zen. <laughs> That's what I've learned today, boys. All right, Gray. I'm going to let Gray rip the uh, archives. Oh, 22 spots left in our next break, boys. Denny, Denny's out of commission. Diddy's out of commission. Yeah, thanks, Slab. What's Slab saying? Well, who do you have? Who do you? Who you do already you- hit the auto, Sims. What, what do you want from me? Denny. He said, Denny, I love. Mm. He said, Denny, I love the Hawaiian shirt. All right, hold on. Let me get my. Uh, Thank you, Colt. Appreciate you. You get this. Man. Out. All right, here we go. You hit in Oliver Maxson's Prosper. All right. One of one. One of one. Cardinals. Cardinals. Is it the wizard? Is it the wizard? Come on. Ozzy Smith. Oh, heck yeah. That's sick. Who had the Cardinals? Uh, Let's see. The cards went to Captain D. Captain D is a nice hit, man. That's sweet, man. That's a good one to hit right there. Absolutely. Couldn't happen, couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Woo! 
Very nice. All right, boys and girls, I'm going to move this one to Dunn, and Gray is going to uh, play the hits. Play the hits. Is it music time? Who can go to music now? Those when I go to sleep, I don't see sheep, see dollar signs. Hundred dog got him beat the eyes for the hundredth time at a money line. Brock Purdy was irrelevant, now I'm at the front like a cutting line. G5 to the power five, Gray was on fire like a summertime. I know they watching, I'ma make them sweat. Put your money down, place your bet. Degenerate, yeah, I'm a sicko. Who else gonna get you to the window? I know they watching, I'ma make them sweat. Put your money down, place your bet. Degenerate, yeah, I'm a sicko. Who else gonna get you to the window?